Good morning, YouTube. It's your boy, Sonny. You know, never let it be said that I'm an inflexible man. Meaning that I can't change my mind or opinion on something. As you can see in the thumbnail, I'll be reviewing some old Joe Krantz today. Uh, that's what I've got in my bowl here. Some Rossi. Basically a 673. Uh, Rossi Nate. Nate. Uh, and in it, like I said, I've got some old Joe Krantz. Been smoking on it for about two minutes. Um, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So let's go from the top. Uh, if you saw my video, my impromptu short video last night, uh, you'll see that this was included in a mail call that I got. Um, and uh, I ordered eight ounces. I probably should have ordered ordered like thirty six. Uh, so, I'm going to start off by reading the, uh, the notes on tobacco reviews. Uh, ribbon and coarse cut burleys, Perique and Red Virginia. Shades of brown with the characteristic mustiness of Perique. Notes from Bob. The blend was named in honor of my grandfather, who was also my pipe smoking mentor and role model. He primarily smoked Burleys like Union Jack and Edgeworth Sliced. I cannot think of a time when I didn't see him without one of his beat up pipes and the aroma of pipe smoke around him. In any case, I was reading the reviews of Haunted Bookshop and Norm Musicant, I believe is how you say that, indicated that he liked more Red Virginia in his blends. Norm is someone whose opinion I respect. I was still looking for a simple, hearty burly blend that could hold my interest all day. So, a new blend. That, of course, is from Bob Ronowski, uh, who uh, blended this, as well as Haunted Bookshop. Uh, and I believe he also did um, Morley's Best. Um, if you know anything about me and or this channel, you will know that I will never be touching Morley's Best. Why? Because it has a lot of Kia in it, and I am not going to do that unless it's for giggles. I will not do a legit review on Latakia because, uh, number one, I know there are a lot of uh, a lot of presenters in the YTPC that love English blends, love anything with Latakia in it, and they are going to do a much better job of reviewing in English, whether it be a light or heavy, uh, because they actually like it. I'm just going to do it for the giggles if it comes around. And who knows, maybe I'll do another one soon. Uh, once again, according to Tobacco Reviews, uh, the strength is medium to strong. Uh, I tend to agree. Um, the flavoring, there's none. Uh, taste is medium to full so far, very full. And, uh, the room note is tolerable. That, obviously, is very subjective. 
uh, because I guarantee if my wife came in here right now, she would say, uh, that stinks. I feel like I have something in my beard, or is that just a shadow? Anyway, uh, so, let me put this down for a second. I've got the, uh, I've got the jar of it here. And uh, let me tell you, it smells fantastic. Hmm. Okay, so if you haven't watched my video entitled Hey, so something happened. Uh, Maybe go watch it now and come back to this video or uh, watch it after this video. Uh, either way, I'll put it in the corner here, over there, wherever the hell it goes. Um, anyhow, in that video, I stated that I was enjoying Haunted Bookshop. However, I felt like it needed more Perique. Well, I got my wish. This has that signature Perique funk that I love. And I know, I know, I know. Why in God's name would you think that anything with the descriptor of funk actually smells good? I couldn't tell you. All I know is I like it. Um, it's earthy, it's spicy, it's woody. Um, it's got that awesome gym sock, dirty gym sock kind of scent, but in a good way. And you're probably wondering, like, how in the hell is that possible? Well, if you if you could somehow isolate each of the specific scents in dirty gym socks and only pick out the ones because I guarantee you there would be some good individual scents if you only picked out the ones that were good then that would be it that's the best way I can describe it uh so yeah Uh, retro hail. It's a nice tingle. Very, very nice tingle. Um, I know sometimes I, I have the ability to kind of get like a little bit of tongue bite from some burly sometimes. I don't know why. Uh, but this is definitely a stout one. Um, definitely not for the faint of heart. So if you have any kind of aversion to, uh, nicotine, be very careful, very careful. Um, but I see what all the hubbub is about with this one. I'm actually kind of surprised more people don't prefer this over Haunted Bookshop, to be honest. Which leads me to my next thought. Uh, <laughs> my journey with these types of blends has been an unexpected one. Uh, 
while I feel like a lot of people probably do start off with codger blends and you know Carter Hall and Sir Walter and uh, Prince Albert stuff like that. I didn't start out with those because they weren't available. I mean, they were online, but I, I wanted to get, you know, when I first started, I wanted to get stuff that I could, you know, just drive down down the street and pick up if I wanted to. Um, but sadly, that was not an option. Uh, so what I arrived at first, and I think I've mentioned this, was uh, Captain Black. And I still have that pouch um, because eventually I branched out. Anyway. But my journey, my Burley journey, has been an unexpected one in, the, in that the first time I tried a Burley, I didn't like it. I thought it was boring. I thought it was, I thought it lacked depth. Um, and it just, it bored me to tears. And I think I've mentioned that. And my Burley journey not only was unexpected, it was very recent. Very recent. Within, like, I mean, you guys have watched it happen. I've gone from, like, ah, Burleys are okay, they're a good filler, and, you know, all that stuff. To now, I don't go a single day without having... A burly blend. How odd is that? Isn't that wild? I think that's wild. Um, now that might change temporarily in the springtime. Um, but, I mean, wow. How interesting. This hobby, I hesitate to call it a hobby. I mean, yeah, it is a hobby, but it's also a way of life. It's a lifestyle. It's a, it's a mentality. It's, Almost as if it's a personality all its own, and yet, it's also your personality, my personality. Don't get me wrong, I still love my Virginias, I still love my Vapors, uh, I still love my Perique Heavy Vapors. Uh, add one to the list. Although it's not a vapor. But. Certainly in the last. Probably two or three months. I haven't gone. A single day. Without having a burly. I can't even imagine what this is going to be like when it gets even just a couple months of age on it. I, of course, still have the trusty haunted bookshop. Um, ended up ordering a pound of that. I'm sure you saw in my video last night. Um, but yeah, this is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, probably the most Nick hit I feel, even though I'm not feeling much. I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like a very, very slight tingle on my tongue.
So how does this stack up against Haunted Bookshop? Well, it's definitely stronger. Um, basically, the difference is in Old Joe Krantz, it's more Perique focused than Burley, even though Burley's still the, the base blend. So there's a little less Burley and a little more Perique in Old Joe Krantz. Haunted Bookshop's the opposite. A little more Burley than there is Perique, comparatively. Literally the same component parts. Um, yeah, I'm sold. And honestly, I cannot believe it took me this long to finally get some of this. Very good. Perfect cold weather blend. Mm. Oh, and keep an eye out for that. I'll be doing some uh, Sonny's top five, maybe top ten uh, videos here before too long. Uh, definitely before the end of the year. Um, most likely this week. Um, it's something I've kind of wanted to do for a while, and I've been racking my brain on one of the lists. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that. That one's going to be fun. Uh, so, long story short, if you've never tried this, get some. Uh... I know, excuse me. I know that a lot of people are kind of haters of Haunted Bookshop, and I, I kind of understand why. Um, I don't subscribe to that way of thinking, but I kind of, I kind of understand it. Uh, getting a bit of a gurgle here. This, on the other hand, is a different monster. Um, I feel like Haunted Bookshop almost has to have some age for those who aren't privy to its nature. Uh, this... This is unapologetic. Meaning that it is what it's going to be. Um, some age might help it. And not that it needs it, but it might help it. There aren't really any rough edges on this. Like, I've, you've seen, I've been kind of pushing it a little bit and it, I'm nothing. And I think, honestly, it's because Parikh agrees with me more than Burley does. That's just a theory from a dumb ginger redneck on YouTube. I don't know. What I do know is I really enjoy it. So, if you if you're a nicotine junkie and a Perique junkie like myself get some of this. Very, very good. feel like it reminds me of something aside from Haunted Bookshop.
if Shennett's cake had more burley in it. Because it's got that perfect amount of nuttiness and earthiness from the burley and then just that spicy funk from the perique and the gentle very nuanced sweetness of the virginia i mean it's so nuanced you have to go you have to go looking for it I don't believe that I would think that there were Virginias in this if I didn't already know that there were. But when you find them, it's like meeting up with an old friend that you haven't seen. Not in a long time, but like a friend that you enjoy seeing. friend that you see like every couple weeks you want to see him more often but life gets in the way so when you see him it's like hey there you are where you been what you been doing no amber there's not anyone here daddy's just talking to the camera that doesn't sound crazy to a dog at all Anyway, old Joe Krantz. Sonny gives it big old fat thumbs up. And I am really kicking myself for not having tried this sooner. <laughs> but, as I mentioned, my burly journey was an unexpected one. And I don't believe that I would have been ready palette-wise for this a year ago, two years ago, three years ago. I just, I wouldn't have been. Anyway, that does it for this video. I'll let you guys go. Enjoy your Sundays. Enjoy the football that she'll be on today. Go Bengals, who day? And I hope y'all stay warm. It's fixing to get real cold here in the next week or so uh that said i'm gonna try and put out a video on on uh, christmas day maybe maybe the day after christmas day i don't know uh but keep your eyes peeled i'll definitely get a i'll be getting another video out this week um as like a countdown kind of thing so yeah till then take care of yourselves Take care of each other. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. But if you do, don't get caught. Later, taters. <laughs>